Hi, I'm James Standen, the founder of Analytics Canvas, and today I'm very pleased to introduce our GA4 BigQuery Query Builder. GA4 BigQuery linking being included in GA4 for everyone is one of the best things about GA4. The challenge sometimes is getting the data out of the schema. Today I'm going to show you how we make a pipeline from GA BigQuery to Looker with Analytics Canvas. Analytics Canvas lets you define data flows with graphical blocks and spreadsheet function syntax, then generates the SQL to automate everything in BigQuery. Let's start a new data flow with the GA4 BigQuery Query Builder. We drag and drop the block. You can see we've got connectors to Universal Analytics, GA4's Data API, but we're going to be looking at the GA4 BigQuery. You can see that we can grant access to all of our properties. We've also got the sample data set in here, so if you wanted to test with that, and that's what we'll be using for this demo. We go to define the query, and all we have to do is select the dimensions and metrics that we want, and the SQL is generated. When you look into the SQL, you'll see we're handling things like nulls, divide by zero. We read the admin API, and we look up time zones to be able to do local time zones. As we add more dimensions and metrics, we can see we're adding the joins and calculations necessary to create the SQL. Now in this demo, we're doing a very simple uh, query just to show how these things work, but the power of BigQuery here is that you have every single event timestamped down to the second or better, and you can do really anything you used to be able to do uh, in 360, uh, now for all versions of GA4. For the beta, we've implemented the first set of dimensions and metrics, but we're certainly not finished. We'll be having all the dimensions and metrics that are currently anywhere in the UI, in the API, etc. There are no limitations because it's BigQuery. You can have as many dimensions and as many metrics in a query as you want. There's no sampling. There's no other. There's no daily or hourly API quotas that you have to worry about. Once we've got our query, now we set the date range and the refresh period. This is important. We do incremental loading and this query can then be automated later in the canvases that you flows you want to run. So now that we've got our block on the canvas, we can drag and drop a Data Studio, now of course Looker Studio, export block, uh, and then we'll configure that up. Basically, we just define what we want it to be called inside the Analytics Canvas Partner Connector, uh, what the master date column should be, and who has access. When we go into Data Studio, we can find the Analytics Canvas Connector under the Partner Connectors, and that data set will be on our drop-down list if we have been granted access to it. Now that we have a report in Looker Studio, there's another huge advantage to using Analytics Canvas. If you write your own SQL and you query the GA event tables directly from Looker Studio, although there is some caching, there could still be a large number of queries hitting the much larger event tables in BigQuery. If you are using Analytics Canvas, not only did it write the query for you, it loads the data incrementally to minimize data processing, and the much smaller report tables also result in a much faster report refresh for your users. Thank you very much for watching today. I feel like since we're on YouTube, I should ask you to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell, but please also give the GA4 BigQuery Query Builder try in beta. You can sign up at analyticscanvas.com and you can use it with your own GA4 data, or if you haven't connected up your BigQuery linking yet, and you really should, you can try it with the Google Store demo data. We're looking forward to everyone's feedback and making this connector the best it can be.